வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஏபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் தி சோர்ஸ் லிஸ்ட் யர் சோர்ஸ் லிஸ்ட் இஸ் அ லிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரொக்யூர்மெண்ட் சோர்சஸ் சச் அஸ் வெண்டர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் விச் கம்பெனிஸ் பை மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஃபார் பர்ச்சேசிங் பீப்புள் டு மேக் டெசிஷன்ஸ் எ பையர் வில் லுக் அட் த சோர்ஸ் லிஸ்ட் விச் கண்டைன்ஸ் தி சர்டிஃபைடு வெண்டர்ஸ் ஃபார் எ பர்டிகுலர் மெட்டீரியல் Before going into the session, let us review answers for previous session's quiz. So, what relationship is maintained in purchasing in for a card? The relationship between a material and a vendor is maintained in purchasing in for a card. The vendor is supplying two materials. How many in for a cards need to be created? Because there are two materials, we need to create one info record for each. So, there are two purchasing info records to be created. What is the condition procedure? The condition procedure in purchasing is used to calculate the purchase price by processing all relevant pricing factors. The condition processing is done through calculation schemas, condition types, access sequence and condition tables. give some examples of condition types so some examples like pb00 gross price rb00 absolute discount zb00 absolute surcharge frb1 absolute freight cost like this there are many examples which masters maintain time dependent conditions time dependent conditions are always used in purchasing in for records and contracts because there we are mentioning what is the validity period for them which document maintains time independent conditions because purchase orders maintain time independent conditions what are the different types of purchasing in for records standard subcontracting consignment and pipeline there are four types what are the options to create purchasing in for records purchasing in for records can be created manually or automate update automatic update will be done from purchase orders quotations and scheduling agreements can purchase info records be maintained without materials yes using material groups purchasing info records can be maintained without materials what is economy of scale how is it applied in the info record when the volume is increasing price will come down that is called economy of scale This is applied in info record in the conditions area using the scale button for the agreed discounted prices with the supplier. So after discussing master data like material master, business partner, purchasing info record and uh, uh, yes, now we are going to discuss about sourcing list, means source list in this session. While sourcing, companies may source materials from a single source or multiple sources due to various reasons. A single source for a material means, for each material that is purchased, only one vendor is used. Many companies spend a great deal of effort negotiating single source contracts to reduce the cost of items they purchase. Mostly, purchasing department use more than vendor as a supplier of material as part of multiple sourcing. Although best practices lean toward single sourcing with a trusted vendor, many companies want to reduce the risk of failure in the supply of material and thus they will have more than one vendor qualified to supply the material. So companies may have a single source or multiple source or some materials may have single source materials as suppliers, some materials may be having multiple source materials. Let us discuss in detail single sourcing. With the single sourcing, the purchasing department can negotiate a lower price with one supplier and will only use that vendor for a specific period. Single sources can cut cost substantially if a company allows the vendors to give chance a single source of a range of products, but it can also, it can also leave the buying company in a problematic situation if the source experiences some disruptions. Many requesters asking purchasing departments to single source a particular item. But the purchasing department will ask the requesters to justify this purchasing from single source. 
the single source may be having two aspects first is compatibility a requestioner may be having valid reason to buy a to purchase a metal from a single source for example a request for information may have found that no other vendors can supply the metal in the in it is required the second reason may be materials bought from alternate vendor may not be acceptable to the quality standards of the organization third one the metal supplied which does not mean the total cost of ownership quality and other parameters like this many reasons will be there for a single source in general purchasing department will usually require more verification that is extensive search that has been made that the parts could not be located at a lower price from a wholesaler or alternate source before deciding a single source next source for single source is the requesters may use economic justification to suggest a single source opting for lowest cost is not always the most economical way for purchasing metal because there may be some other reasons which may increase the cost like performance cost of insurance or even time the vendor is giving supplies inconsistent supplies all these things may lead to increase in the total cost of ownership so the department user department purchase department they should consider all these aspects and then decide on the whether we go for single sourcing or multiple sourcing right single sourcing needs lot of research and analysis before deciding next we will decide multiple sourcing multiple sourcing is the commonly used sourcing method by purchasing departments for one material or one equipment more than one supplier will be identified and material will be sourced from them there may be quota arrangement among the suppliers or share of business that will be decided based on required volume capability of suppliers cost etc all these suppliers are maintained in the source list for a specific material so that the buyer will understand who are all the buyers there in the organization for this material in sap when we are creating the source list there will be that each supplier who is supplying the metal will be entered with respect to the plant we can maintain the source list using the transaction me01 or with the menu part shown here on the initial stage after entering me01 initial stage the user should enter which is the material and the plant for which the source list is maintained why is it plant based because different plants may have different vendors for the same material due to logical issues or the cost of transportation or the supplier may be having different regional outlets with the different supplier numbers because of this so different uh, supplier code will be there in this organization where they have to create the different source list after entering metal number and plant now system will bring us to this transaction so here we see the validity date and this uh, material and uh, this plant what is the validity period we are going to maintain and then what is the agreement on the item this agreement is a between vendor and supply these fields will be required if there is an agreement this outline agreement the column the agreement means where there can be outline agreement or a contract a scheduling agreement can be entered in this column item field is the item number of the metal in the outline agreement or the contract fixer source indicator is set if this vendor is the preferred source of supply for the metal at this plant the system will use this indicator to select the fixer source in the source determination process there is a block indicator which can be set if the vendor is blocked from supplying the metal for a specified time based on the validity period the blocked source indicator does not allow purchase orders to be created with this material vendor or plant combination please note that you cannot select both the block and fixer indicators at the same time only one of these indicators can be set or neither because the logically it is not allowed material requirements planning field is used a source list can be used in the metal requirement planning process to determine the vendor for purchasing requisitions and create the schedule lines for scheduling agreements the source list is what it is to determine who is a source that has to be used in the mrp 
the mrp column on the screen allows the planning department to determine how the source will be used and it is influence an mrp if this mrp column is blank the vendor is not taken into account in source determination within mrp if we enter one in this field this vendor is taken into account as a source for purchase request generated in mrp if we enter two in this field then vendor is identified as a source of the schedule agreement and delivery schedule lines will be created if the schedule agreement is in place after entering all the details save to create the source list in time when you are clicking on this generate records icon the red color ball no the like that the icon system will bring up all the available procurement elements like info record quantity or value contract schedule agreement all of which are relevant to the source list so users can select and create the source list so far we discussed creation of source list for single material a purchasing user can create source list for range of materials rather than manually creating this list using that me01 only but a list can be created in total using transaction me05 the menu path is also shown here the selection parameter for the multiple uh, run source list is shown here here the system will allow to create the source list based on combination multiple of materials or combination of plants both the ranges can be given the capability is useful if no source list have been created because the mass maintenance program is a fast way to generate this prop the generate this mass rate the generate section in this section we can include or exclude or allow only outline agreements that option is there most companies will include all material vendor scenarios when initially creating the source list the other selection fields are similar to those that can created using the transaction me01 like uh, include validity date mrp relevance etc in outline agreements plan delivery time of the relevant agreement item will be taken into account the start date and end date of the validity period are shifted to the future by a period corresponding to the plan delivery time if you are checking this particular field we also have option of deleting all existing source list records or allowing them to remain finally test run indicator allows a purchasing user to run the program without actually creating the source list we strongly suggest to run the program with the testing run indicator so that we ensure that right selection parameters are selected and right sourcing list is getting updated now let us execute the transaction with a check mark in the test run field the result of test run appears here if they are in expected line the results are in expected line then we go back to the screen what we discussed now only thing is remove that uh, test run check box then run the program again so that the source list is getting generated source determination allows a buyer to find the most suitable source of supply for a purchasing record based on various sourcing information the sourcing information does not necessarily have to come directly from the source list sourcing information can be found in other places like quota arrangement schedule agreement and the purchasing info record the order of relevance of source determination is first it starts with the quota arrangement if the system finds a quota arrangement for the material that is valid for the data date needed then the system will designate that vendor as a source of supply and assign certain quota of the overall quantity of material to supply to the company if no quota arrangement is there then the system will review the entire the entries on the source list for the required material combina plant combination if a single source exists or source has been flagged on the preferred vendor then the system will offer this vendor as a determinate source however if number of vendors on the source list are valid by date selection then system will stop and offer several candidates of the purchaser so the vendor can sorry supplier can select from this the user can select from this list of suppliers then outline agreements in info records if no source list or no uh, source list line items are valid the system will review the contracts outline agreements in info records for the requested material 
system will check all info records for the metal for all purchasing organizations but it will only offer the source if the supply region specified by the vendor is applicable to the relevant plant after the system has reviewed all documents and info records a selection will be available to the buyer providing the system has determined any valid vendor so in this session we discuss what is the definition of source list what are the types of sources how to maintain source list how to determine the source now let us see some of the quiz questions for this specific session what is a source list what are the two types of sources a supplier is found to be non performing and the organization needs him to be out of mrp or purchase orders how to achieve this can source list be maintained in mos what is source determination what are the other sources to determine source determination other than source list so now we completed all macerata required to run the procurement process next is the procurement users should know the concept of demand management which is the source for all the purchase requests so in the next session we will discuss what is demand meanwhile please create sort list for all purchasing items as part of the business case practice and please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents and also refer to your friends and colleagues to subscribe to the channel to get the benefit of this knowledge sharing thank you see you in the next session take care bye